G'day everyone, Corrupt Carnage here, and today we're going to be doing some real life ma mathematics, and we're going to discuss the Pythagoras Theorem. And I'm basically going to show you how to use the Pythagoras Theorem in the real life Minecraft. So, what is the Pythagoras Theorem? Now, the Pythagoras Theorem states it was. Well, let's, let's start off with the with the history. It was created by a mathematician called Pythagoras back in the 1700s, a long time ago, and basically he proved that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Now what that means is, if I quickly draw a, a triangle, a right-handed, a right-angled triangle, sorry, with the right angles in this corner, if this is A, that length of that side is A, the length of this side is B, and the length of the hypotenuse is C, if we draw squares off the back of these triangles, so that C is here, here, and here, so basically that's a square, and we draw a square off down the bottom here, and the square is B, B, and B. So basically it's a square, as I said. And we draw another square off the other side of the triangle. So that A, A, and A. So basically that square is the same size. What this means is the area of this square here, so C squared, equals the area of a plus b squared and, and c squared is c times c which is the area as i just said and a squared is the area of here so a times a is a squared and likewise for b so basically that's how we proved that c squared equals a squared plus b squared so it's pretty simple stuff but this can also be used for, I'll just draw a quick triangle before we get into the examples. If you have a triangle, say, um, B is equal to 10 metres, um, the hypotenuse is equal to, just say, 12 metres, you can actually work out using this equation here, the Pythagoras theorem, the length of a. And I will go through these examples in a second. But before I go into the examples, I want to rearrange this equation so we can get the formulas for C, A, and B. So if we know to two dimensions of the right-handed triangle, we can actually work out the missing side. So let's quickly derive that. So first of all, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Therefore, through algebra, C equals the square root, let's do a nice square root sign, of A squared plus B squared. And that's just simply taking the square root over to the other side of the equal sign, basically means you have to square root. And if I was to take the square root over to the other side, I would have to times. So that's just basic algebra. So let's just look into, so that's the equation for C. So if I know A and B over here, I can work out what the hypotenuse of the triangle is. So let's just work out this for A now. So C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Therefore, A squared equals C squared minus B squared. Now what I did there was, all I did was I just uh, took, took B over to the other side, and because it's plus B, I have to minus it over the other side. So a squared equals c squared minus b squared. Therefore, a equals the square root of c squared minus b squared, which is... So therefore, if I chuck 12 into what's over here into c, and if I chuck 10 into b, I could theoretically work out what a is in this right-handed triangle. And without deriving B, I'll simply just write it down here. 
and b, if you do the same, same thing as I did before, same procedure, you'll get b equals the square root of c squared minus a squared. So there are your basic formulas from the hypotenuse, uh, sorry, hypotenuse, from the Pythagoras theorem to work out. If you have two sides, if you know the measurements of two sides, you can work out the you can work out the distance of the other unknown side of the triangle. So let's get into some examples now. So let's look at example one. We have a right hand, we have a right angle triangle with the hypotenuse being 13 meters, the B being 10 meters, and the unknown length being 8 meters. So from the equation before, um, let's, let's drive it quickly again. C squared equals a squared plus b squared and with rearranging that therefore a equals the square root of c squared minus b squared so if you throw these 13 is c because it's the hypotenuse b is 10 if you throw those values into the equation therefore a equals the square root of 13 squared minus 10 squared. Therefore, A equals the square root of 169 minus 100. Let's go over here, up over here. Therefore, A equals the square root of 69, which is A approximately equals 8.3 meters. So the length of A equals 8.3 meters. Pretty simple stuff. And that is using the Pythagoras theorem to work out the distance of a side of a triangle when you know the other two sides. So let's get into another example now. So let's get stuck into example number two, where we know that this right hand the triangle has one side 3 meters, one side 6 meters, and we don't know the hypotenuse of the triangle. So we can work this out using the Pythagoras' theorem. So once again, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Therefore, c equals the square root of a squared plus b. Squared. Now we know what A is and we know what B is because they're already stated in the, in the problem. Therefore, C equals the square root of 3 squared plus 6 squared. Therefore, C equals the square root of 9 plus 36. Let's go over to the right-hand side here because we've got no room in the bottom. Therefore, C equals the square root of 45. Therefore, C approximately equals 6.7 metres, without going into too much detail, because that, that decimal point carries on to about 17,000. No, I'm just joking, about 100 equals 6.7 metres. So that's another example of how we can use the Pythagoras' theorem to solve uh, an unknown distance, in this case the hypotenuse in this triangle, with when you're knowing the other two sides. Anyway, guys, I'm Corrupt Carnage. I hope you enjoyed this episode of me going through the Pythagoras' theorem. Please put a comment in the description about what you want me to cover next. I'm thinking of doing trigonometry, so using tan... Sine and cos. So I might go and ahead and do trigonometry. Anyway, guys, please subscribe to my channel if you like this series, uh, this new series, and uh, give it a like and a thumbs up because it took a lot of work to, to, to compile. So anyway, guys, I'm Corrupt Carnage, and I'll see you in the next real life Minecraft mathematics mathematics episode. I can't even speak. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Bye bye.